Hello guys, now I want to do a quick uh, review of Mugabe Pickverse. It's a picture editing software that you can use. It has some paid and free aspects about it. So let's begin. Now, if we, the moment you open the software or the application, you just have this uh, interface here, you have the tabs here, and also you have uh, here, you also have other aspects here, uh, the ones that you'll be using in the settings. So what you'll just do, just come here, and also here is the image that you recently uh, edited. So you just come here, open photo, then you just uh, go to where the photos are. For example, if I want to insert this photo here, just click it and open, then it will just uh, open like that. Then automatically, now you see this uh, on my right side here, all these things are visible. Now the first, the first one you can adjust, uh, uh, automatically maybe the lighting maybe you can just click automatically and you see what it does it, it does a little bit adjustments in terms of brightness light contrast and some another uh, also you can do it manually maybe you can enhance uh, manually you can just click that one there you can play around with this slider here you see how it looks you can just cancel if you are satisfied you can just apply you can even try all this maybe uh, hdr lighting then you can just apply so we have all these uh, then we have this one here this one is for erasing for example you want to erase an area click it will give you this aspect here if I click this one here it will try to remove uh, the background something uh, like that I'll just come here and reset then it will just go back the way it was you can even try manually manually now use uh, these tools here I think some of them you have used in Photoshop, maybe you can use a brush, maybe brush an area to remove manually. You can even increase the brush size just like that so that you remove uh, just like that. But uh, you can set again, you can also try this one here. This one now gives like the uh, magnetic uh, magic wand, it uh, behaves like that. Just click an area and it removes an area. I'll just reset like that. Then you can also use this the lasso. The lasso now you have to use manually. Just uh, just use your free hand, just like that. If you want to remove a section, maybe like I want to remove this section here, just like that. Then uh, okay, I'll just uh, click erase to remove uh, that section, or you can just reset again, just like that. It's telling you the area is too large. You can even use uh, this one here, stamp. Try all of them. See, it's telling you first create a source point for this stuff. Maybe I'll, I'll do this. Uh, maybe that is my source. Then I can stamp it there. I mean, you pick, but you make sure you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard as you pick a section. Maybe you want to replicate uh, this eye, her eyes. I just hold Alt, then I click, then I pick some. See, <laughs> you can uh, play around with that. You can put as many eyes as possible. I just uh, leave it at that. Let me insert another picture and insert as many pictures as feel like. Maybe I let, let me this time insert this picture here. Uh, can, you can save this one, the changes, or you can just discard. Let me just discard it like that. The next aspect uh, here, I think we've talked about erasing objects. Now let's look at insert image. Maybe you want to insert an image, maybe uh, paste an image. Maybe I'll just come to where the image is in the downloads here. You want to paste another image, maybe like this one here. Yeah, you can easily put an image uh, there, like this one of fruit juice. Then it will decide whether you want to uh, increase the size or uh, uh, also you can see that you can put the opacity, you can increase the opacity. I mean, it becomes transparent just like that. Then if you apply this, how it will be. So you can add. Uh, that aspect of uh, transparency in an image. You can also try all this here. You can even cut aspect there. Let me just undo Control Z to undo just like that. Then the next thing is change the background. Let me remove this one here. If you want to change the background? I'll just come here. You can do it automatically. It will just remove the background just like that. Then you'll have. You can even now drag the picture the way you want it like that. Like that, you can even put another color, maybe you want red, yellow, wherever, black, wherever. You can easily change the background just like that. 
but uh, I don't want that. Let me put another image. Just click this plus here. Then I'll put another image with this one here. I'll discard this one. That. Then you go here, retouching now. Retouching here, if I click this, you can uh, do skin smoothing, especially if the skin is rough. Oh, there's a zoom key. There's the zoom aspect here. You can use this zoom aspect here. Let me look for an image that has a lot of uh, wrinkles or has a lot of uh, blemish, something like that. You know that. You can try this one here. Yeah, you can see this one here. Now you can smoothen the skin. Let me zoom. You can easily zoom using the slider, or you can even use Control Plus to zoom or Control Minus to zoom out. Now you can use Remove Blemish. I like you can use you can uh, smoothen the skin using a brush, or you can change the size. Maybe you want to smoothen here. You can see smoothing all these things aspect here. You can smoothen here. If there's a problem. I just like then you can just apply then i just go back you can even remove the wrinkles if you don't want wrinkle blemish removal i think these are the ones that i like using the most so i'll remove this blemish you can just scroll down like this you see here you see here i want to remove this i'll just after after you've chosen the blemish you can just it give you the circle you just come and click here like that then it remove you see it's going out you see just like that so you can easily use that then foundation i think this one is for the ladies especially if you're doing something with the skin maybe you want it to be brownish so let me try the darker one let's see what happens you see you can easily do uh, that i'll just reset everything then that is done then now the next stage you're going is the effects let me just zoom out control minus zoom out let's go to effects here then you have many effects you come to this down arrow here if you come to this down arrow here you can see all these effects uh, that is most popular they assume these are the people who like uh, just like that although you can try there's one i like here called uh, color fantasy this color fantasy if i click it like that you can see that i apply yeah that is that then you can also crop your image if you feel like it's the you don't want some part let me undo that you can come here i don't apply i don't want to apply that you can easily crop an image then you just apply you can even put the figures manually just like that you can also resize the image let me put another image now maybe i put maybe i put this image here let's cut the other one i want to resize Maybe in pixels, you can choose percentage, you can choose centimeters, let's choose pixels. Maybe I want to reduce it by 1000 and you make sure it is locked so that it goes proportionally. If you don't lock, if I lock, it doesn't go proportionally. Then apply, it does reduce the size, just uh, like that. Then the last thing aspect here is the text. You can add text, just click like that, then you put maybe fruits. Fruits. How oh, does fruit? Yeah, then you can just say okay. You can even change the color. You can fill it with color. Maybe you want it to be red. Ah, you can even put a background. I don't know. Something like this. Maybe look for contrasting colors, position. Maybe where you want it to be. You can even wrap it. I mean, you can try all this. You can even change the font. Maybe I don't like that font. I like this font. Then I put it somewhere there. Just like that. So then, if I forget, you can compare the image before. If I just click here, compare the image uh, before. Well, you edited it, and after you've edited it, if you want to go back, you just click there. Then you can easily upload it. You can save it by clicking this one here. Then you choose the direction. Maybe I want it to go to music here. I'll just put it through FR. Then I'll just save it like that. Then you can you can even uh, uh, increase the size, but I just put it full. The type JPEG or PNG, I like PNG. Then I just save. Then there it is. There is the image there, guys. That's how to use Movavi Pixvas to edit your pictures. To edit is a very easy to use tool. See you in the next video, and also look at the videos of how I use specific aspects in the application. See you, see you next time.